Hey guys, just recently someone was asking about this sci-fi box that I created, and I thought I'd just share with you guys how quickly I, I create these. And the reason why I do this is to create some complex geometry so I can play around with some shaders. But anyway, it's it's a, a fun little exercise, and what I'm doing is I'm using kit ops to do this. And what I'll typically do uh, when I'm using really complex booleans is I might just go into kit ops and instead of using the Boolean solver fast, I'll just go to exact right here. And so I'll close that up and then I'll just come into kit ops. And uh, let's just go to this first. Uh, this is what comes with kit ops pro. Uh, and I'm going to grab this complex and dig insert. And I'm going to basically with a snap, you know, set, snapping set to the face. I'll just add this insert over here like this. And then I'll just make sure my mode is smart and I'll turn it so that it basically duplicates itself on the X axis, just like that. And then I'll go into here and let's just go ahead and add a modifier. Let's add a bevel modifier to that, move it to the top. So it looks, you know, something like this. And now that's done. We'll just go to this uh, next one, which is another one that comes with KidOps Pro. And I'll just grab, let's grab this one. And I'm going to, you know, with it set to the, the face snapping, I'm going to add the insert up here. It snapped pretty much exactly where I wanted it, which is good. And then I'm going to go over here and grab this one. And I'm going to snap it here. And I'm going to just basically, and as you can see, I've got face orientation turned on. So I'll do this. With this done, with the object selected in KitOps, I'm going to say convert this all to a mesh. And then remove the uh, the vertices. And, and really, man, we're, we're, we're pretty much there. Now I'll just go into my uh let's go to this dirty one and i'll grab this cw panels and i'll add that material this is new uh one of the new materials for ev materials uh the ev material system so I'll just add that material right here see how that works i'll go over and grab this let's grab this one and add that material there and then let's you know let's move up here and i want to change the color of that one so if you look at this you'll see it's got all these yellow are the areas that you can actually modify this. So I'm going to go in and just, uh, you know, basically go in here and turn the saturation all the way down and drag this down a little bit and something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I will add just a little bit of, of a blue hue to it. Yeah. Something like that. You know, we'll see what that works. And then, uh, you know, pretty much that's it. I'll go uh, go back to my EV material system and let's grab this metal and we'll grab the steel dirty, add that material there, add it there, up here, and there. And then if I hit this button, you'll see that oh, I didn't I didn't mirror that, but but that's all right. You'll understand it. That's easy to do. And uh, as you can see here. Let's go ahead and you know move this around so we can kind of get a, a nice view of this. Turn on the scene lights in the scene world. And uh, we can move the lighting around a little bit. We'll just say R, Z. We'll just move this around so we get something that we like. Actually, I'll be pretty good right there. Let's grab this object and we'll go back into Kit Ops and we'll add a decal. Maybe this Kit Ops batch. Just add that insert right there. Hit the end button, we can move it around, scale it down if we want. And with that selected, we can just go in here. Right now it's set to emissive. Let's set it so that it's uh, principal BSDF. And we'll change the color to something like this. And we'll give it a metallic. And kind of basically just a little tiny roughness in there. And as you can see now, how rough it is. In fact, while we while we're in here, let's just go ahead and let's just adjust the amount of you know. Let's just take a little bit of this erosion on the decal like that, so that works really nicely. And then we'll go back into our rendered view. That looks pretty good. Center this a little bit better on the on the scene, and we'll hit F twelve and we'll render it up. And there's our render, and you can see it's uh, turned out pretty good. I mean, it's very for for just you know spending two or three minutes to create a box. And this is kind of what I do when I'm messing around with materials. I want to create something with a lot of different angles and edges so I can see how it works. And I can talk later about how these materials work and how you can optimize them and change all the patterns and do all kinds of stuff. But that's really just a quick demo of how you would use KitOps to create a really quick sci-fi box. Hope you enjoyed it. See you online. Bye.